So TPP is important to us. The opportunities that these markets represent to Virginia companies are important. The Virginia economy is one that is, as you read about, is feeling the squeeze from a decreased level of federal spending, particularly in the defense and security sector. So services companies in Northern Virginia are really, um, I'm not going to say desperate to look for new customers, but they are like, taking a much closer look at opportunities and customers and partners in international markets. So having said that, I want to spend a few minutes sort of putting this into context at, at the state level, uh, taking a look at the implications of TPP for certain sectors within Virginia and what we as, as, as an agency are trying to do to help these companies uh, leverage the opportunity. So Virginia's economy, as I suggested, is increasingly tied to exports. 2014 total exports were about 35 $0.9 billion, $19.2 billion of virtual products, 16.7 services. So the gentleman who is interested in services, you know, Virginia, the composition of exports in Virginia, about 53% goods and products, 40% services, as compared to the U.S. data, which is 66% products, 34% services. So we have very, the service economy, it's critical to us. I can tell you, helping a service company export is hard. It's challenging. It's much more nuanced. It is just a tougher sell. But we recognize that and we're trying to do our level of that. So having said that, the economic impact of exports in Virginia, in the last five years, 320, just over 320,000 jobs, trade-supported jobs, export-related jobs in Virginia, $18.7 billion in labor income represents about $2 billion in tax revenue. The average wage of a export supported job in Virginia is about $60,000, which is higher than, an export, than a domestic only uh, wage. So why, why is all of this important? Well, you've heard the data, 95% of the, of the global consumers live outside the US, and 80% of global economic growth over the next five years will come out from outside the U.S. But if you think about TPP and the at least half dozen uh, countries that in the Asia Pacific Basin that part of the, of the 12 countries, the, eight, the middle class in the Asia Pacific countries account in 2009 for about 28% um, in those countries. In projected out to 2030, that's what anticipated to grow at 66%, which is a significant jump. So the implication for, what does this mean for Virginia export as well? In 2014, about 19 point, of the $19.2 billion uh, dollars of goods exported, 35% went to TPP countries, of which $553 million in goods exports went to Japan, $133 million to Vietnam, and about $120 million to Malaysia. And that represents about an 8% growth between 2012 and 2014 of goods export, products exports to TPP markets. And I'll say this, you know, in, in Virginia, there's about 7,300 people, what we describe as middle market companies that are exporting. <coughs> That's our sweet spot. Companies, employees between up to 250 employee size and, and 250 million in revenue. Those are the, you know, the lowing fruit of potential exporters that we are trying to meet with and work with and travel with us and do market research and all plus of our fundamental services. And um, so the SME opportunity is is, is definitely one to take a we're going to take a look at. Sectors that will benefit in particular from the TPP advantages, chemicals. So in 2014, 177 million dollars of Sales from Virginia chemical companies went to TPP countries. <coughs> IT goods, IT services, 73 million in 2014. Uh, tariff rates pre-TPP, some of these markets, about 35%. Uh, machinery products, so if you look at the data, industrial machinery, electrical machinery, that's our number one export category. It used to be tobacco, but now it's <coughs> So machinery products, everything from generators to compressors, uh, are $123 million exported in 2014. 
2013. So chemicals, IT products, machinery products, defense, defense service uh, products and goods. Um, I will say that agriculture, raw and finished uh, wood from Virginia is uh, it's a big opportunity. Tariffs in some of the TP TPP countries were about 40% for forestry products. So those are the sectors that we're taking a close look at. Um, we, as, a, as an agency, run, manage a, a number of programs. So I'm, I'm responsible for the Valley program, as I mentioned, the Virginia Leaders and Export Trade. It's a two-year invitation-only program for what we, what we consider best-in-class exporters in Virginia. We provide them some, some grant money, some business planning, advisory services, and exposure to what we call program partners who are law firms, bankers, accounting firms, marketing firms. And the, the, the integrated effort that the Valley Program offers, I can share that over the last 12 years, companies who complete the Valley Program enjoy about a 54% 54, 54 increase in international sales. In addition to that, we have a sister program called the Global Defense Program. It's a DOD funded program to help have, to have defense contractors diversify into international markets. There's a lot of, a lot of attention, particularly Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, for any number of security defense training services. So defense valet program, and we just started last year, a coal technology program. The coal industry in Southwest Virginia is basically decimated. So those companies in that industry are, they really are desperate to look for new customers and new markets for, for their products. So we run these programs. I can tell you that, that we wouldn't be able to do it without our cousins at the of Commerce and, and Antoine and his shop for, for spreading the word about the importance of exports and, and, and his office and it's really critical. We run trade missions. Um, to, to these markets. So over the last five years, I looked at the data. We've run missions from Chile to Mexico, five missions to Southeast Asia, <coughs> taking the group again in, in this fall to Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, Philippines. We're going to Mexico next month. We go to Canada twice a year. Um, Australia, we had been to sort of waned in the last 18 months. Australia was a very active market in these markets. So in cycles, Australia sort of off the boil, and India is back on the boil. But uh, you know, in, in, in all, we, we travel about 15, 16 different regions and countries throughout the year. Uh, so Virginia companies are, are aware of the, the opportunities that, that export, exports represent. The TPP nations are front and center of our planning for the next two years. So with that, I'll pause and answer any questions.